as I said, dreading the winter months after his winter weather outlook yesterday. And now he's here talking about some meteorological bomb. <laughs> Mike Masco, I don't know what that is, but it sounds yeah. scary. <laughs> Yeah, right. It does kind of sound scary. Hey, guys, uh, some really wild things are going on over the northern Pacific that I want to bring to your attention. And believe it or not, it will actually influence our weather by next week. Now, one super typhoon, Nuri, which was the strongest storm on the planet, has now merged together with a very strong Gulf of Alaskan storm to produce what some meteorologists are calling a meteorological bomb. Take a look at that thing. This storm will develop later this weekend and carve out what we call a deep trough across the central Pacific. What does that mean? Well, this means that this pattern developing in the Pacific will force the polar jet stream to dig into the United States by the middle of next week. The cold will produce snow, which will now a uh, will add to the already record snow depth we've seen across Canada. By the way, last month, the entire northern hemisphere ranked the third snowiest since the early 1960s. This is all connected, remember? The forecast models we use at ABC2 show that the persistence of this pattern will go right through winter. Now, as far as Maryland is concerned, take a look at our forecast models. Oh, boy. By the middle of next week, we're talking daytime high temperatures that will struggle to hit 40, while at night we'll easily find ourselves into the 20s, nearing record low temperature territory. Now, this weekend, Wyatt was just talking about this, is going to bring a little bit of a chill across the area. However, it will pale in comparison to the winter-like feel we'll experience that's going into next week. Now, you can read more about my exclusive winter outlook online at abc2news.com. I get into the factors that are expected to develop going into the winter months, but just know things are going to get really cold around here as we get into next week. Why I'll talk more about that inside Maryland, so it's accurate seven-day forecast. Jamie? All right, Michael, Tuesday is coming up, and it's Veterans Day, and to honor their services,